Lauren joins us now with your forecast and it's been a cool August yeah. on a number of levels. Yeah, yeah, cool August. Last couple of days, highs only in the 70s. Today, we barely made it to mm -hmm. 80 degrees, but this evening, oh, really pure nice. perfection. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we had a cloudy start, but the skies clearing out throughout the day, and a beautiful evening with that drier air settling in, these cooler temperatures in place. You yeah, know, we did hit 80 degrees today in Philadelphia, and the last several days, highs have only been in the 70s. And yeah, it's August. Our normal high temperature is 86 degrees. Even had a cool start at 66 degrees this morning and overnight lows will again be running cooler than average. But we've gotten a break from the AC so far this August for our first week. Certainly last August, not the case. Our monthly temperature ran about four and a half degrees above average so far for August. We're running close to two and a half degrees below average and that will be the trend as we head into the overnight period with another cool one in store. Temperatures have already fallen back into the 50s in the Poconos, middle 60s in the Lehigh Valley, Berks County. We're in the 60s in Trenton, 60s in AC still hanging on to 72 degrees in Philadelphia. But overnight tonight we will be falling back into the 60s. 63 degrees might even need a light jacket, dare I say, as we wake up tomorrow morning. Mostly clear skies, great sleeping weather tonight. And then for our Wednesday, sunny skies, low humidity, a comfortable high temperature at 84 degrees. Just a great day in store. Storm Scan 3 showing us the last of that cloud deck well moved offshore over the last couple of hours. Now crystal clear sky conditions and that the case as we pan out as well across the northeast Tennessee Valley Midwest with high pressure moving into control and it will stay overhead as we head into the next couple of days promoting that stable air mass. So from tonight tomorrow and into Thursday sunshine, low humidity and overnight lows dropping back into the 60s all thanks to high pressure. Thanks high pressure down the shore tomorrow sunshine, a beautiful day in store high temperatures in the upper 70s. Get that sea breeze to kick in as we head into the second half of the day, but not too breezy when speeds only 5 to 10 miles per hour. UV index is going to be high with all that sunshine and do watch out for a moderate risk of rip currents. Well, tonight certainly a great night to go take a peek of the person's meteor shower. It's one of the best of the year because it can produce up to 60 meteors per hour. It peaks on Friday night, but it's running right now and runs until August 24th. And the Perseids in particular known for numerous bright meteors. So something cool to check out in the sky. And over the next couple of nights, we will have conducive viewing conditions as we head into Thursday. Still dry, comfortable 85 degrees, but then knew it was going to happen. Bring back that moisture and the rain chance as we head into Friday. Looks like at this point on Friday, just some spotty thunder showers possible. And as we talked about during the 10, the models having a little bit of a disagreement for the upcoming weekend. It does look steamier, but stormier as well. Although how stormy is still up for grabs. So we'll mm -hmm. see uh, who wins out in that battle. Hopefully the drier one.